It's extremely easy to use MBS Chorus to build your specification whilst modeling in Revit. As you can see with my demo project here, I've already set up the architecture specification and had that associated with the model. Enter into that spec and you can see I've already got the Timberwall framing systems, which has been associated with this external wall. You can just see with the parameters of that type here, it's been added here into the general parameters at the bottom. How that's done, I'll just demonstrate with the external windows. I'll add content to my specification and type in external windows, which searches the whole MBS library. There are lots and lots of results, but in this case, unlike the external window systems, you can build up your specifications super quick using this platform, enter into it here, and that's when I can start to, um, to basically describe what I want from this particular system and add in any um, performance requirements here, for example, general product performance, uh, maybe fire performance and security performance, plenty of content there you can take directly from, from our content. Um, window material, for example, I can add that as uh, aluminium window units. So there's plenty of options there how you can start to document exactly what you want to see. Even execution clauses can help you be in control of what you're, what you're specifying. So once I've made up that content, this will appear in my overall uh, set of specifications. And I simply select the object in Revit, and then the three dots will appear next to that system that I can associate with. I'll click and say associate the model. Give you a little pop up to describe what you're doing. I'll say yes, associate that now. Animal association is successful. You can see a small icon that popped up there to confirm that. Once I've done is push the um, information from Chorus directly into the Revit object. What's extremely handy is to be able to um, annotate your drawing with MBS tags. They're pre-set up, um, but you can still amend them and manipulate them to take away the uniclass codes or add uh, prefix and suffix. A simple way to do that is to, again, enter into the system, use the pencil icon, and you can perhaps say this is going to be an aluminium frame window, suffix might be external window 01. Once that's saved, um, the information is in chorus, but not yet in the model, and you have a brilliant model checker tab here, as you can see where it's already scanned the model to show my unassociated items. Then it has the associated items within my model, um, which as you can see, I've just added the window, and then the issues will flag up where there's been any problems. So in this case, I'm gonna open up the warning and say, for this one, it's telling me that for the external window systems, the parameters don't match. So it's recognized that what information is in uh, chorus is not yet in the model. I need to use this chain icon to push that through to the model, and that will appear then on my tag. And as soon as uh, you enter into the tag, you can then um, change, the, change the parameters of that quite easily by adding and taking away the unit class title and code. Very easy to set up, so please get in touch for any further questions. Thanks.